Hi and welcome to 3 Minute Maths. In this particular uh, video we're going to start looking at solving linear equations and this is uh, one of a series um, that you can have a look at. This particular is the first video and it's just give you some orientation, some idea of how we go about solving linear equations. In other words, what we mean to do is to find the value of x in an algebraic equ uh, equation. So we're given something like this, it was something like 6x plus 7 equals 10. Alrighty, what we're going to do is find this value of x. Well, there's a couple of key principles that you need to remember when you're solving equations. The first thing is, is that you're always, always, always working down the page and around the equal sign because algebra, um, it's actually algebra, okay, and what it actually means is in balance. So what we're going to do is remain in balance when we're working through these. So if we've got um, x on one side and numbers on the other, in an ideal situation, we want to make sure we've got one value of x on one side, numbers on the other. So I need to get rid of that positive 7. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to minus 7 from both sides, which means that on this side it cancels itself out. So I've got positive 7, minus 7, got nothing left. So I'm just going to be left with 6x. On this side, I've got 10 minus 7, which is going to give me a value of 3. OK, next thing is I've got six values of x, and I need to get just one value of x. So to get rid of that, I'm going to divide this by 6, because if you divide 6 by 6, I just get 1. So I'm going to get x on its own. On this side, I get 3 over 6, or 3 divided by 6, and I can simplify that a little bit to a half or 0 0.5 as a decimal. And that's pretty much how you deal with linear equations. Let me give you one very, very quick example where we've got actually uh, brackets. So we've got 5 and I've got x plus 4 equals 22. I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but the first thing I need to do is get rid of these brackets. So that's going to be 5x, because I multiply that, and then multiply that, plus 20 equals 22. Need to get rid of this number, so I'm going to minus 20 from both sides. Okay, and that's going to give me 5x on this side. On this side I'm going to get just 2, because 22 minus 20 is going to be 2 on its own. On this side I'm going to divide both sides by 5, so I get x here, and on this side I get 2 over 5, and if you prefer that's a decimal equivalent of 0.4. So, uh, or 0.4. I hope that's been okay. This has been uh, three minute maths, three minute maths, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.